Hey friends, I'm back. How's it been? I've been gone all week. I didn't really post that much because I wanted to take a break. Uh, this week I'm back and I'm making cheesecakes all week. I gotta make like 12 of them, maybe a lot. They're big ones too. So I'm gonna show you everything cheesecake all week. So that's why I've been gone. So right now I've got my oven set at 375. It's ready to go. I've got my cream cheese. Uh, it was whipping because it was a little hard still and you want it super fluffy. Everything that I have out is room temperature. It's been sitting for a while. And that's usually the best because every time you add something, if you add something cold, it's gonna chunk up your cheese mixture and you don't want that. So room temp, use your friend the microwave if you need and warm up your stuff before you toss it in there. That will give you like the best cream cheese ever. So I've got three blocks of cream cheese, the eight ounce ones. Here I've got a cup and a quarter sugar and like half a teaspoon of salt. Throw that in there. Just mix it till it's combined. You don't want to, if you like over whip your cheesecake, I mean, you can do what you want. Uh, it'll be like fluffier, it'll be like airier and stuff. If you want like a nice thick cheesecake, you don't want to whip it that much. So that's what we're gonna do. And you want to scrape the bottom of the bowl because you will get a lot of uneven stuff if you don't. So again, I got that on low now. I have like a cup of sour cream. You drop that in there. Again, this has been sitting out for a moment because this is the third cheesecake that I've made. So it's pretty warm. Get that going. Now I got about two, tea, two tablespoons of vanilla whatever kind of vanilla you want. I've got the clear vanilla. I'm just gonna drop that in there. And then I've got a cup of milk. Like I said, warm it up like 30 seconds in your microwave just so that it's room temp. And slowly add it in there so you don't end up wearing it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in, use my spatula to kind of get it all mixed again because again you don't want to like way over with your mixture that looks good okay so I'm gonna let that come back together real quick before I add the uh, eggs and the flour give me one moment okay okay that didn't take me as long as I thought again because everything was room temperature so save the day right uh, everything's combined again and now I'm going to go ahead and drop in two eggs. And then three tablespoons of flour. And I'm just, again, doing this all at the same time so that it will quick whip together and it can be done. And while that's going, I'm going to get my crusts. So I have my crust here. This is a 12 inch pan and it has a little bit of cheesecake already in it because I this is the third cheesecake and I had a little extra trying to even them all out so they don't take forever. And I'll probably pour some of this in one of the other ones just because I'm crazy. So again, got my crust. I let them sit on the refrigerator because like once the crust hardens, again, I'll do like crust tomorrow. I'll show you what I do with that. But I like the crust to be a little hard before it goes in the oven. It seems to just hold up better. Like it, once it bakes, it's not like super crumbly or anything like that, which is nice. So now I'm gonna just pour this in there. And you can see like, hopefully you can see that. It's not chunky because I took the time to make sure everything was warmed. If you go fast and everything's cold, you'll get a chunky cheesecake and nobody wants that. So, so there's a little bit extra because again, there's this three cheesecakes and I got at least nine more to go. So that's what I got. So usually if you're doing one cheesecake, you wanna wrap the bottom with foil, find a big pan, drop it in, do a hot water bath. Uh, what I've got going on is because I'm making so many cheesecakes, and this tends to work for me well, Let's see if I can get it here, is while my oven was preheating, I did a little pan of water and that's been sitting in there so that it creates the steam that I need to make sure everything bakes properly. I've been doing that forever 
and it seems to work well for me. So if you want to try that, you sure try that. When you're making, you know, 12 inch cheesecakes, it's kind of hard to find a pan that can hold an entire cheesecake this big. So I'm going to throw the other two that I got in. I got all three of these going. It's going to be about an hour that they're going to bake at 375. Then we stop the oven and I just let them sit in there for like four hours. So I'll show you the amount of jiggle that's appropriate when I know to turn off the oven. So I will be back in like an hour, guys. Thank you. Okay, so don't mind my oven. It got a little steamy, a little butter leaked out, and that's why it looks like that on the bottom. Um, but this is about the jiggle that you want. It's been 45 minutes, and so I'm going to turn the oven off and leave the door closed, and that's going to give me what I need. It's going to set up. So in about five hours, I'll show you again how sturdy they are. So I'll be right back.